Woody, Buzz, Chucky, Pinocchio, Cone the Lion, Chip Hazard, Archer, the Velveteen Rabbit. Let's talk about Poppets. Did you say Puppets? No, I said Poppets. What, like Kermit the Frog? Kermit is a Muppet. What's the difference? Well, one of them is a magical construct designed to help deal with the monotony of day-to-day -day living, and the other is the host of a sketch comedy show. Oh. Which one's which? Okay. Poppets are the simplest form of constructs. Usually humanoid in shape, they're designed to be small toys or servants capable of following very basic commands that don't require a lot of dexterity. On some very rare occasions, they have been known to spring to life, gain their own will, intelligence, the awakened and self-aware being. Poppets are a playable race in Pathfinder 2nd Edition, but a lot of this can be carried over to 5e. You are small or tiny sized. You gain boosts to your constitution and charisma, mostly because your body is made out of some combination of cloth and polyester blended paper mache, button, cookie, tin, nylon, fur, green felt turkey feathers. Long story short, there's a lot of materials you can be made out of. Some of them are gonna give you benefits like damage reduction, while others are gonna make you susceptible to fire. First off, you're small and spongy, so your dexterity isn't so great. And again, having a body not made of flesh, unless you're some kind of meat puppet. Ooh, don't look that up. You're probably not made out of flesh. You're probably made out of a fluffy material and stuffed with whatever the D&D &D fantasy equivalent of polyfill is. Cotton, I guess? We can go with cotton. I mean, it's that or wood chips. You essentially should have resistances or advantage on any effect that would kill the likes of normal meaty breathers. Things like poison, disease, death. I, I don't think that means you're immune to death. Chucky seemed pretty immune to death, but he was also more of a cursed, self-inserted demon more than spontaneous enlivening of some child's toy. Pathfinder gets around this by basically saying, if you put your soul into a poppet, you do not remember anything before you became a poppet. That's a nice little caveat. Now that I think about it, Chucky might be more of like a Warforged or a Magic Jar type of clone scenario. In Livening, does that track? Let's move on. Much like the Warforged who are apparently not truly constructs, your spark of life allows you to be healed by healing magics and affected by positive energy, blah, blah, blah. In my mind, I think that's a little bit of a weird middle ground for constructs. And I do really think that you should go back to the older rule. Immunity from poison, immunity from disease, uh, immunity from sleep, high damage resistance to bludgeoning attacks. Look at Gonzo. They shoot him out of a cannon all the time. He's fine. I mean, whatever. I'm totally okay with poppets not taking fall damage. You can eat a child stuffed animal out of an airplane. Probably won't mind at all. Well, the kid would, and everyone else in the plane, but the stuffed pig would probably be just fine. Where was I going with this? All oh, right, I should probably close the door. Eh, but my pig. Uh, uh, here, kid, have a rugby. Wait. Aside from that, the material composition of your poppet is really where you can get fancy with creating your own character. The Pathfinder 2E rulebook, Lost Omens, The Grand Bazaar is full of custard. Full of custard? Really? Custard? Could you fill a pop-up with custard? That's probably not a good train of thought. It's full of custom heritages and variants, as well as feats to build your pop -it. Some of these things include extra limbs to increase your base movement speed, which at 25 feet seems pretty quick to me. I don't know how I feel about the Pillsbury Doughboy being able to keep up in a dead sprint. But then again, I've been chased by a few geese in my day, and uh, they seem pretty fast. I don't really see why you couldn't incorporate magical items into your poppet as well. Maybe you have a bag of holding inside your body and you can just stash items in it by eating them. You'd still need to use a standard action to remove them. Or if you ever wanted to just turn your guts inside out like a snake and just vomit the whole contents of the bag, there you go. This could be a good opportunity to play a squirtle if you really want to. Just drink a billion gallons of water and then you're... <clears throat> that being said, you don't have to be cute and fluffy. Maybe your body's made out of nails. I don't see how that would help much, aside from, like, really being cool to, like, a goth kit from the 90s. Suppose there's no reason to not give you thorns damage if you're covered in spikes. Like if someone tries to grapple you, there are tons of little combinations you can do like this. Some people may argue, But Rook, why not just be made out of adamantine? Sure, why not? If you want to be an animated cannonball, just do that. Why are you coming in here and messing up my poppet video? Just play a sentient weapon and get it over with. <clears throat> Excuse me. If you do decide to go the tiny route, you are now able to enter the spaces of other characters, with the downside that your reach is zero and you must enter another creature's space to attack it. Of course, this does now mean you have the option to ride other creatures larger than you into combat, dog or a badger, if you don't want to be weird about it. I don't know, maybe ask the barbarian if they're cool with having a saddle attached to their back. I don't know your life. Another cool option would be something like a wind-up poppet, which allows you to not need sleep or eat, drink water as long as someone winds you up a few times a day. I feel like I'm slowly losing control of this video. Does that mean that normal poppets have to eat? Because Pinocchio didn't have to eat, but he definitely smoked that cigar like a boss. There's a strange amount of illicit substances in that movie. Go look it up. 
It's pretty weird. Looking at some of the feats, you can really do a lot of fun homebrewing from 5e, such as gaining advantage on stealth rolls as long as you're attempting to look like a stuffed toy. Squirming free is another good one. It gives you advantage on slipping out of grapples from larger creatures because you're used to escaping a child's overly enthusiastic hugs. Uh, I'm not sure if that should make you immune to constrict damage or maybe like your head falls off if you get squeezed too hard. Does losing one's head as a construct mean you die from it? Can you still feel your legs? Could you feel your legs originally? Hmm, moral quandaries. Then again, you could just always be overly dramatic whenever you're attacked, causing your attacker to make a will save or be stupefied for one round. Think Miss Piggy, but with a small battle axe. There might even be a version of this where you're like a voodoo doll and turn around and do some, some damage like Hellish Rebuke. I'm on the fence about that one though. It's kind of a fun idea. I think my favorite is the restitch feat that you can take. You basically are so used to sewing yourself back together, that you can effectively cast regenerate once per day on anyone in your party. Mind you, this is kind of an end game feat. So your DM might want you to wait until you are at a level at which you could cast regenerate normally if you had the spells for it. Did I forget to complain about dark vision in this video? I mean, I'm usually pretty upset about it, but I mean, they don't really have eyes to begin with, so I can't really complain that they can see magically in the dark. I mean, and then there's whatever this is. What am I looking at? So sure, poppets have dark vision. I love it. Let's do that. And that's it. Like the only other thing you can talk about is basically choosing to take a disadvantage, kind of like you know, Pinocchio's nose, or maybe you have loose stitches and you're constantly dropping fluff out of everywhere. Maybe you just want to be oogie boogie and you're full of bugs and then the bugs make their own saves or something. I don't know. Have fun with it. Thanks again for watching, everybody. Thank you again to all the Patreon members for making this channel and these videos possible. Thanks again for watching, commenting, liking, subscribing, throwing this at people you know so they also watch it and play cool poppets. If you have a great poppet story, share with us down in the comments below or over on the discord just remember to keep your dice on the table because really at the end of the day anything could be a poppet right I mean, you could have like a sock or a bag and you just slap some buttons on it and then you got a character the moral here is be nice to your tube socks they might come to life and you why did you censor that i can't say on youtube that makes it sound so much worse i mean yeah there's only a handful of things you can do with the tube sock no i don't mean fill it full of batteries what are you talking about what do you mean, what do I mean? I was implying that the sock was gonna finish you off. What? No, that's not what I meant. Okay, yes, I can see how that could be misconstrued. Specifically because the sock is also their body. <laughs>